Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to see another big earthquake striking the Ring of Fire. We've got eye candy and two significant science announcements. We're appreciative of our documentary sponsor, goldobservers.com. Film is coming out in just a few months. If you haven't filled the last prepping gaps for precious metals, goldobservers.com is my recommendation. But we're here with the last 24 hours on our star, and folks, apart from the coronal hole earthquake and volcano watch, things are pretty calm up there. No solar flaring or eruptive activity at the filaments, coronal hole solar wind is about two or three days away, and the sunspots are about the same distance from possible Earth-directed risk as well. Big ones are departing to the right, next ones incoming from the left, but those would need to grow and or gain interaction development. So we're going to seismicity, where folks, the second seven-pointer this week struck the Kamchatka Peninsula of Russia. It's along with several large aftershocks. Luckily, there's not much to damage out there, but the seismic and volcanic watch remains high, definitely in an uptick here the last 10 days. We're off to our eye candy, zooming into the Cat's Pond Nebula like we've never seen it before. James Webb NearCam has revealed the fine detail of dusty infrared return in the region. It is quite incredible to see. First up in the science news, we've got a study suggesting the major faults near the Yukon, northwestern Canada, have not ruptured significantly in over 12,000 years, but may be about to end their nap. They suggest megaquake potential when the slipping begins. Lastly on the article front, yesterday we mentioned how scientists around the world are getting it and speaking up about the pole shift. Romanian conference just took place, their biggest of the year, and the highlight talk hit the risk of a magnetic pole shift and geomagnetic excursion. The radiation, the navigational difficulty, the loss of global power systems, and they say we're seeing the signs of it about to happen again now, which you already know here as observers. And it's why we're glad goldobservers.com is sponsoring that documentary on it and why we're thinking this eighth book may be the last one I write before there's no more writing at all. Pre-order of my life's work here is not going to last long. We expect them to arrive to us in late August and then be shipping out to you in September. It's textbook style. It covers the sun, solar forcing, climate, magnetic excursions, the major cycles, the pole shift, the great solar flash of the micronova, the great waves, and the next age of Earth. Every pre-order is going to come signed, and when we ship them, we're also going to be sending out a PDF copy via your email. Highly recommend one for you and someone you love. They're going to make great gifts. Link is right down below, and folks, at yesterday's rate, we're only going to be doing these pre-orders about a week. After that, probably not going to reorder again until next year. One shot here, folks. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>